Hello everyone. Last video we introduced the three most common healing heroes, Gigi, Aura, and Sasha, and how the skill update in the new vision will affect the battle. If you are still have doubts about these three heroes, feel free to speak in the comment section so we can discuss these issues together. Today's video will focus on the two high attack cards. Fiona and Luna, two of my most used and favorite cards, both of which have a secondary attack on their turn when the skill is active. In particular, Luna, both in the old vision and the new vision, her very strong attack power is undoubtedly super pressed to enemy's cards. So, in this new vision, where high attack power cards dominated. Let's take a look at the change that have occurred and the role of Fiona. First, again, go to the marketplace and look at her original skill. And we choose a card with a rank of rare. Here is a place to note that the real type of the card compared to the common card, in addition to the normal attack and the health point are improved. The biggest difference is that the first skill can be refreshed and upgraded. We will probably release a video explaining the difference between these different level of cards later. Well, going back to the Fiona skill explanation, we choose the card with skill level 1, and now we see that Fiona's skill in the old version deals 110% extra damage to the opponents and has cooldown for 6 turns. But now, her first skill deals 10% more damage to the opponents and on the turn is active, she deals 120% extra damage and cooldown remains unchanged at 6 turns. But actually, in my personal experience with Fiona in battle, she has a very fatal problem, which is the hit rate of the attack. On the old vision, I remember it should be 89% and now there is a boost to 91% but in the actual battle even with the boost her miss rate is still very high especially when you used her at the first position to attack due to the first problem her extra attack tend to be lost in the battle and I was very reluctant to swamp her out, but again, she always lets me down. However, the nerf to the healing heroes from the vision update uh, has allowed to some cards to be replaced, and this problem can be solved by going with some heroes that improve hitbox. Let's look at the Luna's change. Her skill in the old vision is very complex. Here, it was able to deal an extra 100 points of damage to the opponent, while reducing the opponent's attack by 20 points for 4 turns, and the skill cooldown for 10 turns. Overall, the skill is slightly weak. Because without the operation of the healing heroes, there is no way for the HP of common cards in the old vision to last it past 4 turns. In other words, Luna's first skill was destroyed before it was fully released. So that's why the healing heroes dominated the old vision, because all the attacked cards need their cooperation to have more chance to release their skill. And now, Luna's first skill is to deal 110% extra attack to the enemy and reduce opponent's damage by 11% in 2 turns. 
and the cooldown is also reduced to 8 turns. We can very clearly see that all the cards have increased the attack power in the new vision. So the boost from a fixed 100 point of damage to 110% is actually a very big change for Luna. And her hit rate is 0.982, which is obviously still higher than Fiona. In the past, I would always put Luna at the first position to attack and test the enemy's next arrangement of the cards. When Luna was more of a sacrificial lamb or a bite, now she should be used as a main fighting force. Okay, this is the end of the introduction of the change to Luna and Fiona in the new vision of the heroes. I hope this video will help you choose your card better and change your strategy in time to improve the winning rate in the new vision. So thank you, thank you for watching.